Hey everybody, welcome back to Ben's Audio Cave. Hey guys, I got an interesting topic for you today and I can't wait to show you about it. Um, today we're going to be talking again about some cleaning things, but really what I'm looking at is what about a purpose-built record brush, like a record doctor or a uh, Audio Technica or a disc washer or uh, a Crosley or whatever versus a paint pad that you get from Lowe's and you're like what are you talking about a paint pad really and I'm like yeah you know I've, re I've seen this online I resisted it myself for a long time and now I feel kind of foolish because after cleaning some of the dingier more dollar store pressings to just see if I cared or not I moved on to a pressing I you know just didn't care about an obscure one to see if it scratched it and I'm like wow and then after I actually listened to the two back to back I'm like wow this is uh this is great so that's what's up today and I can't wait to jump in and show you guys so let's go ahead and go over to the cleaning station hey guys so once again here we are at the cleaning station okay um so I'm going to show you uh, kind of what it is to use this paint pad, this Record Doctor well-worn record brush, and we'll also look at a uh, Mofi record brush too, and kind of how these two, these three things clean the albums. Now. I will tell you, I was skeptical, but this little $2 paint pad is the best record cleaner I've seen yet. I don't get it. So let's jump right in. Okay, so here we are at the cleaning station. Okay, so what are we going to clean today? Well, uh, let's start by saying I brought this uh, who album out here it's Tommy this is a great album to own but let's talk about the condition of this one really quickly as you can see this one super dirty it's seen better days so we'll just start out with this I mean look at this side so let's start out with and I've got two albums here so this is going to help us a lot uh, so we can see similar performance. So let's start out. This is a, uh, the bottle from the Audio Technica solution. Again, I'm using Turgiclean as my cleaner. So let's start out here. Let's put us some fluid on here. Okay. Now then, I'm going to take. The record doctor, and it, it is well worn, but the record doctor record brush, and I'm going to just clean this one the way I normally do. Now notice, it spreads nice. You can kind of hear the uh, little bristles going in here. I go in and out because it doesn't always seem like this thing covers quite evenly. Then I'll go give it another run backwards. So, and I'm just going to, I'm not going to do a whole lot here with rinsing and stuff. Okay, so, now I always wipe this brush off. Now, but this is what I'll tell you. With this brush right here, as you clean multiple records, it tends to get to where it's a little bit more pliable, a little bit more flexible. It tends to not, not do the job quite as well so let me go ahead and vacuum this off here really quickly uh, so we can look at the album and, and the performance of this brush if it, I can get it on here because so it's gonna be loud take everything off here okay so now look it actually did and this record is scratched pretty badly but it actually did a good job of cleaning this album right so here let me uh just so we're doing this right let me go ahead and 
spray a little alcohol on here and clean my platter off because we don't want to put a dirty record back on here. Or put a dirt I put a clean record on a dirty surface. I'm gonna flip this over. Ugh, right. So now let's take our MoFi brush to this one. So charge clean, charge clean, charge clean, charge clean. There we go, about the same amount. Now we got this. Now this is like a velour pad. It's just a plasticky rubbery block uh no padding none of that one of the things i don't know if you can see this at this angle or not but um these this has got kind of bubbles in it and that that's concerning at times i'm going to wipe this off too because when this pad gets wet it tends to like come apart here at the edges so i don't I find myself using this less and less and less, and this is probably the most expensive record brush I have. So let's see what kind of a job this does. Notice it doesn't really make a whole lot of noise. I'm going to go ahead and sweep it. Then I'm going to go ahead and take it back the other way. But the one thing I do like about this brush versus the record doctor, yes, it doesn't have the bristles that quite get in there, but the velvet does a good job, and it's very, very, very evenly distributed. So now I've got this done. I'm going to go ahead and give this a little wipe. See, I like to get the fluid off here so it's at least dry. But you can see this is already starting to come apart. Now I will tell you about two or three records in. This is going to be all but falling off of this block. So that's why I don't use it a terrible amount. So let's go ahead and give it a vacuum. Okay, there's one revolution. Now we'll go back to the oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. now we'll go back the other way. And as you can see, it also does a really good job. Okay, so now set this over here. Let's pull out the other record out of this collect out of here so now this is uh the other album from tommy Ugh, let's look at that it's pretty bad right so whoa that one's tight center oh, nope wrong solution that's the one i made let's go with some charge clean okay now I could have had a little mount for this, but I just want to lay the pad here. Notice, this is nothing special. This is a Sureline Edger refill. I've got like this little thing here, but it's got paint on it. I'm not bringing paint around my record. So I'm just going to use the pad. These are very, very cheap. But let's see. The first thing we notice covers the whole record, which is awesome. I can get my whole hand on here. Now check this out. You can really hear those bristles starting to do their job. You can see here on the record, the bristles are just digging right in here. I'm not having to do a whole lot of movement on this album either. I can get all the way in. I can do it at a clean stroke. Now, notice the the sound that this is making is not changing no matter how many revolutions I do. So that should be clean to death. Let's give it a back and let's take a look at it. There's one revolution and there's two. Now, if I can get it off the spindle, wow, that hole is really tight. Okay, so um, look at how clean this looks. 
I, at visual inspection, I would argue it's got more luster and sheen than the other. Now, keep in mind, I haven't rinsed either of these albums. However, I will tell you, um, I've cleaned many albums with these paint pads so far, and it seems like that overall they appear to be a little bit quieter whenever that uh, I get done cleaning them. So now you've seen how well it cleans it. Notice, but you can't really tell there's... This album is scratched, so you're like, the next thing you're going to wonder is, hey, what about my delicate albums? What about ones I care about? Because I'm not taking a $2 paintbrush to those. So let's let's start here. This is Journey Escape. I mean, some of you guys may value this album more than others. However, this is a really nice, fairly clean, there's like one little scratch right there, but it's pretty clean, pretty scratch-free pressing. So I'm going to lay this over here, and now we need to talk about how this paint pad is going to treat this very, very good condition album. So, put some of our detergent in here. Now, paint pad. And there goes the cleaning action. Notice there were a couple of fingerprints on this guy um, when I started. And every now and again, I do flip the paint pad around. Haven't found that that's any detriment. All right. Give it another swipe back and forth now this album has been cleaned very well now one thing i will note about these paint pads is they sometimes do shed a little bit but we're vacuuming our records so it doesn't really matter if it gets like a little shed in there or whatever we're gonna it's gonna be uh brought right up through the vacuum so let's let's hit it with a back And that is a thing of beauty. Notice we have our one little scratch here that we had, but it's not damaged the vinyl. Yeah. That's a good looking 40 year old piece of plastic. All right. And there you go. Just like that. We've tested three record brushes. We've tested the Record Doctor record brush, the Mofi record brush, and the Sureline paint edger refill. So, Really what we've seen today is that the least expensive option doesn't always mean that it's the worst option. In this case, the least expensive option is actually the best. So I'm just going to keep looking for ways to help improve every one of your guys' lives and your daily journey with your albums, whether it be from cleaning, listening, or whatnot. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see other videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. And until next time, I'll see you from Ben's Audio Cave. Thanks for watching.